Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking the video. This is David Pendleton. I am continuing the Wild West Tournament Rookie Division, holes number four, five, and six. So welcome to the channel. If you're brand new here, I hope you hit that subscribe button. Everybody, please take a moment to hit the thumbs up. And as we go into the replays, so we did drop holes number one, two, and three, and we're gonna do the same on holes four and five. Pick up the eagle on hole four here. I'm going to show you two different ways you can pick up the eagle um, with your second shot. Here, we're going to go three bars a top spin, three bars a side spin to the left. We're just going to take the easy drive here. I'm sure we're going to get a wind angle later on in the tournament to where we're going to try to drive the green or close to the green, but here we're going to play it nice and safe. Half a ball of curl to the left. Most players will need to bring your runner club, okay? So shot number two, I suggest you play with the runner. You're going to see me here play it with the thorn, and then my next one I'll show you with the runner. So two clubs here, both 0% at mid. Green inner ring on the top of the rough. You see here with the thorn at nine, I'm at max topspin. So, or I'm sorry, with the thorn eight, max topspin again, most players are going to need to bring the runner club so that you have the extra top spin. And again, I'll show you the runner shot here on the next replay. Dead center of cup for the eagle. Really same setup with the runner, green inner ring on the rough line. Top spin, past the hole. Remember, that's going to be important because we do have headwind here. Most shots on this course are rough bumps. So this would be a really good time if you're not a great rough bump player to practice those rough bumps because they are pretty important to master, especially as you start to move up divisions and tournaments. But you'll see here we hit the rough, same thing, center of cup. So thorn and runner for the eagle. Now we'll head on to the next par three. I do pick up the hole in one here. You're gonna start off by putting about 0.2 to 0.3 bars of top spin on the ball. Again, green inner ring, rough line, just like this. Ball guideline favoring left-hand side of the cup. So again, set your spin. Ball guideline just favoring the left-hand side of the cup. Make your pull. Perfect ball. Snuck it into the right side of the hole, so... Maybe a little bit higher wind. We might need to offset just a little bit more, but it is a perfect ball and a drop in there for the hole in one gives you a great place to start. Now we'll go to hole number six. Hole number six, we're gonna play the drive 0% at max. Gonna play with a Titan club. I do suggest you bring your most powerful wood club for shot number two. For most players, that is gonna be the big dog, but you can do big dog, horizon, cataclysm, whatever you want. Six top, one bar of side spin to the right. Here we're gonna use a little bit of overpower. And I do believe a tad of left curl, not a ton. And then shot number two will look like this with your big dog. This is the only shot that I have messed up in the tournament so far as I do put this one in the back part of the rough. So just learn from my mistake here. I end up going with overpower for some reason. I don't need it. Here I got the ball guy line on the green. I should have known better to not go with any overpower. I put on one top, two bars of side spin to the right. And again, here you'll see I'm gonna use left curl, or sorry, right curl, because we needed it. And I don't know why I added that click of OP, but I did, and you know, it came to bite me here as we roll through 
and we just land onto the rough. So be careful with shot number two here. This is a little bit of a tricky par five. I shouldn't have messed it up, but you know, I show you the good shots, I show you the bad shots. You learn from my mistakes, and hopefully you learn from my successful shots too. All right, everybody, three holes left. Thanks for watching.